it. It's time I made it to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking forward. Get behind me, pull out every stop. I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending. Won't let them get the best of me. Whoa, 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 give me a break. Grandpa have been married for 55 years. So has Mickey Rooney. <laughs> but it took him seven wives to do it. I wonder how Grandma and Grandpa managed to stay together that long. Well, they're the perfect couple. She never stops talking. He can't hear a thing. <laughs> well, here are all the presents. Well, you could add these to the pile. Well, thank you, now. Thank you very much. Mom and Pop are really gonna appreciate these. Where did you get them? Well, I got your ma the uh, joy of cooking. And what'd you get Pop? The joy of sex. <laughs> well, no, just in case he wants to get even for her cooking. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot my present. <gasps> I wonder what that can be. It's a baseball bat. You're kidding. <laughs> I thought it was a thermometer for King Kong. <laughs> Samantha, what's Grandpa gonna do with a baseball bat? He could loan it to someone he loves. <laughs> That's very thoughtful. Hey, it's getting late. You girls better go upstairs and change, huh? Okay, Dad. Oh, and Samantha, I want you to look especially nice tonight. What's wrong with the way I look now? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put on that, that nice dress I bought you for your birthday? But I won't be happy. You don't have to be happy. It's a party. <laughs> that must be Ed. Nell, you mind getting that? Not for that practical joker. I am not going to end up with a handful of electric joy buzzer. <laughs> hey, Carl. Put it there. Oh, no, Ed. You don't catch me with that old chestnut. <laughs> hey. I brought you one of your favorites. A can of unsalted peanuts. <laughs> peanuts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're peanuts. Oh, thank you, Ed. What the heck was that all about? Oh, I get it. I get it. You thought a, a bunch of snakes or something was going to jump out of that can, right? Just a, a cheap, practical joke. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ed. Carl, when are you going to learn to trust me? Brothers ought to trust one another. <laughs> that really hurt, Carl. Oh, I'm sorry, Ed. Uh, I apologize. Sure. Look, no hard feelings, huh? <laughs> well, okay. I really got you going that time, didn't I? And I'm gonna have you going, too. Well, hold it, Carl. Hold it. It was just right a joke. Right through the roof. Just a joke. I didn't mean any harm. Well, I do. Hey, guys. If you can't play together quietly, I'm gonna send you both upstairs without supper. <laughs> Hi, Nell. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. If I'm gonna shake your hand, I'll take that one. Gotcha. Just plastic. Just plastic. Your teeth are gonna be plastic. <laughs> Too late. They already are. <laughs> Boy, you really got it with that one, Eddie. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, Ed. Now, you had your jokes, that's it, all right? Sure. 
What you got in that bag? Oh, just some gifts to liven up our, our anniversary party. Dribble glass. <laughs> Arrow for your head. <laughs> Whoopee cushion. Happy 55th. And I thought you had no sense of romance. <laughs> You're all class, Ed, all class. Hey, I wonder what told my mom and pop. Well, it couldn't be sex. They stopped that when you were born. <laughs> and the little rabbit comes out of his hole and runs around the tree. <laughs> then the little rabbit goes back in his hole again. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then the rabbit comes back out of his hole and runs around the tree again. And the little rabbit says, the hell with all this. <laughs> yeah, that's all the commotion. Oh, it's this tie. I think the rabbit died. <laughs> well, here, let me help you. Mmm. Oh, Mildred, I love that perfume. <laughs> it's turning me on. <laughs> Not now. We haven't time, Stanley. We have to go. We have to hurry because Carl said we mustn't be late. Eight? Well, what are you rushing me for if we don't have to be there late? I said I don't want to be late. Well, you just said that. I think you're getting senile. <laughs> I see you found all the wedding pictures. Oh, the kids will get a great kick out of seeing all this stuff. You no, know, I, I don't know who half these people are. Yeah. Oh, here's one of you. You were really a cute little thing, weren't you? <laughs> well, I guess I had my moments. You were a hot little number, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> uh, that's not me. That's my cousin, Sophie. Oh. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Oh. <laughs> nice dress. I borrowed it from Sophie. What are you saving all these stupid letters for? Because they're from you when you were in the army. Oh, no kidding. Dear Mildred. Uh-huh. The cookies you baked arrived today. Half the platoon thought they were hand grenades. <laughs> if you're really on our side, send the next batch to the enemy. Yes, you're right. Why am I saving all those letters? <laughs> Love Stanley, and then there are a lot of X's and O's. Well, you see, you used to be romantic. Well, living in a foxhole helped. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my, this one has a lot of hearts on it. Yeah? My darling sex goddess. <laughs> sex goddess? It's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> Though the days seem like months since we parted, the memory of you fills my throbbing heart. Oh, boy, that must have been toward the end of the war. <laughs> How I pine for your tender touch, your soft lips, your silken thighs. Silken thigh? What the hell are silken thigh? Stanley, we'd better hurry. We don't want to be late no, for no, the no, party. just a minute. This isn't even my handwriting. Stanley, oh, it's... Your fiery passion of your embrace. Your warm flesh pressed against mine. Maybe I'd better go warm up the car. Erotically yours, love slave. Who the hell is love slave? <laughs> Hi, Uncle Ed. Hi, kids. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. My, my, don't you two girls look pretty. Where's Samantha? She's still upstairs getting ready. Wait till you see the dress I got her. She looks like a little doll in it. Oh, bit. Hey, Samantha, come on downstairs and say hello to your Uncle Eddie. Honey, why would we laugh? Because I look like a jerk. 
Come on down, Samantha. Nobody's gonna laugh at you, sweetheart. <laughs> And stop laughing. Here, yeah, girl, stop laughing. Come on down, honey. You look beautiful. You're gonna make your grandparents very happy. Yeah. Grown ups really get a kick out of humiliating kids. That sounds like they're crying now. Yep, it's them. Okay, come okay. on. Okay. Right up, everybody. Now uh, remember, this one is for 55 years. So let's hit it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear Mom. Happy and Ma, what's wrong? Where's Pop? He's home. Packing. He, he, he says I'm a Jezebel. <laughs> and a floozy. And he... He wants a divorce. <laughs> uh. Ma, I don't understand. Uh, all I'm getting is is this Jezebel, floozy, divorce, and some word that sounds like honk. Oh, Chief, that's when she blows her nose. <laughs> Your father is leaving me. And our 55th anniversary, too. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if Hallmark has a card for that. <laughs> Grandma, I know how you feel. I just broke up with my boyfriend, too. What a tragedy. <laughs> Thursday would have been two whole weeks. Grandma, we're really sorry. Thank you, dear. Well, I don't want to interrupt anything. Samantha, dear, you just run along to your costume party. <laughs> Uh, girls, why don't you go upstairs and help Samantha change? Dad, it's so obvious you're trying to get rid of us. I'll give you until the count of ten to get upstairs. One, ten. <laughs> we're going, we're going. Bye, Grandma. Look, Ma, try to pull yourself together, huh? What happened that made Dad act so crazy? Well, he found an old love letter from another man. Pop got a love letter from a man? <laughs> it was to me, Gimlet. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. All men are jealous of their wise puppy loves. It wasn't puppy love. There was wagging and barking after the marriage. Ma, no! It, it was during the war. And your father had been away for three years. And they were always asking us on the home front to make sacrifices. So I did the best I could. What's the matter with people nowadays? Nowadays? She's talking about World War II. People were still saying, hubba, hubba. I never saw your father so upset. Do you think there's a chance that Pop might do something crazy? Well, he's leaving me. What do you call that? And I thought you were the smart one. I thought I was the smart one. No, Carl, you used to suck his thumb.
Poor Pop. Poor Pop? What about me? Mom, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Chief, instead of being a one-man moral majority, why don't you go and have a talk with your father? You know what I think? Yep. But first, have a talk with your father. We can burn your mother at the stake later. <laughs> Speak up if you got anything to say. <laughs> Hello! Pop! Hey, Pop! Oh, Carl, is that you? <laughs> are you all right, Pop? Oh, I can't complain. How are you? <laughs> Where are you, Pop? Well, I'm home for crying out loud. You're the one who called. <laughs> Hang on, Pop. I got my key. Oh, Carl, you'll have to speak up. This is a terrible connection. I said, Carl. Listen, Carl, I can't talk now. You just walked in. I, I got a little nervous when you didn't answer the door. You ever try the doorbell? I'm not a mind reader, you know. Pop, we gotta talk. Mom told me about the letter. Why didn't she take a full page ad in the papers? Where is she now? At the singles bars hoping to score again? <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Oh, who knows? Brazil, Mexico, Tahiti, Akron. <laughs> Pop, look, I know that your pride is hurt, but during the war, you were gone for almost three years, and Mom never heard from you. Carl, I was a prisoner of war. They made it very tough to reach out and touch someone. <laughs> but Ma didn't know that. All they told her was that you were missing an action. Sounds like I was missing plenty of action right here. <laughs> Come on, let me take you over to my place. What's that for? Well, snap the cuffs on me. <laughs> Come on, Pa. We're going over to my house. Uh, don't you tell me what to do. I could still put you over my knee, you know. I'd maybe get a hernia, but I could do it. I can get your beach towel. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, uh, I don't want to impose. <laughs> Looks like a real wild party. <laughs> Evening, Nell. Ed. Hi, Pop. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Can I take your coat, Pop? Grandpa, would you like some coffee? What? She said, do you want some coffee? I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> Coffee's fine, now. Okay, you like it black, right? And you tell that man if he drinks coffee this late, he'll be up half the night. She said to tell him that he drinks coffee this late, he'll be up half the night. You tell the bimbo. <laughs> that it's no business of hers how late I stay up. <laughs> He said that you are a bimbo, <laughs> and it's none of your business how late he stays up. Well, you tell that old coot that whatever he does is just fine with me. Chief. Huh? Tell the old coot, I mean, tell your father what your mama just said. Oh, uh, Pa, Ma says... You tell that woman she's a two-timing floozy, and I don't care what she said. <laughs> 
tell her Pa's upset. <laughs> well, come on, Pa, lighten up, will you? Why should I listen to you? I'm your son. I don't know that. <laughs> that if there's any more talk like that, he'll be wearing that truss around his ears. <laughs> Ma says to talk nice. <laughs> That's not what I said. Oh, well, what's the difference? He can't hear. That's right. I can't hear, so what's the difference? <laughs> you tell that woman from hold me. Hold it, hold it. We are not telling anybody anything. Why not? What? If you two have anything to say to each other, you do it yourselves while you still got time. Well, what do you mean? Look, I'm divorced. The chief's wife just passed away. And Ed... <laughs> well, Ed's a bachelor. Now, here we are, three lonely people trying to make do with sleeping alone. You're lucky. She's got cold feet and snores like a chainsaw. <laughs> Well, you put up with it for 55 years, and now you're just gonna throw it away? She had an affair. Oh, Grandpa, that was 40 years ago. Well, what am I supposed to do? Forget the whole thing? Pretend that old love slave never existed? Grandpa, that's... that's up to you. All I know is that my father passed away not too long ago, and I know my mama would give anything to have him back. Now, the two of you can't last 10 minutes out there by yourself. And who is going to put up with a miserable old man like you? It's too late. I'm leaving her forever. Well, come on, Mildred, you're going to drive me or not? Be sure to button up. You don't want to start your new life with a runny nose. Forget buttoning. I'm going to Tahiti. Oh, that's nice. You've always wanted to go to Tahiti. Probably if we hurry, we could get you on a plane tonight. Well, it's been a long day. Maybe I better take a little nap first. After all that coffee? I only had a little. Oh, well, never mind. I'll fix you some nice warm milk. That always makes you feel drowsy. Maybe a piece of raisin toast. <laughs> which I'll try not to burn. I do not expect miracles. <laughs> what do you take me for, an idiot? What are you talking about? I think it's walk out of here without all these presents. <laughs> Great party. <laughs> oh, Chief, you know what I like best about your family? What's that? They live someplace else. <laughs>